Chapter 531 What is a sect? 7. They only hoped that this force could help the sect, and that would be enough. At that instant, Elder Kin and that young Xiao sect elder with a severed arm were in a brawl. If based on their individual skills, Elder Kin was definitely not the opponent of this young Xiao sect elder. There was quite a gap in their skills. However, Elder Kin had the blue gourd die. The elder with a severed arm hollowed as the frightening primordial chi in his body turned into a giant palm that flew towards Elder Kin. However, Elder Kin lifted his right arm, and the blue gourd emitted a blinding light. In the next second, the giant palm formed by primordial chi was actually sucked into the blue gourd. Back to you. Elder Kin scoffed as he released the giant palm from the gourd. The move that the young Xiao sect elder used initially was instead used by Elder Kin then as he returned the attack back at the young Xiao sect elder. Boom. Caught unprepared, the young Xiao sect elder was struck by his own attack and retreated a few steps continuously. A cold glint flickered in his eyes continuously. It seemed that they really underestimated Xuanling sect's heritage. However, once Xuanling sect was annihilated this time, all of Xuanling sect's treasures would belong to Yang Xiao sect. The gourd in your hand is indeed pretty good. Hand it to me on your own accord, and I will give you a straightforward death. How about that? The Yang Xiao sect elder with a severed arm looked at Elder Kin and snickered coldly. Come and take it yourself if you want it. There were no emotions on Elder Kin's face as a murderous look filled his eyes. Before waiting for the Yang Xiao sect elder to continue saying anything, Elder Mo suddenly drifted above them, immediately, a word scroll was opened. There was only one word on that scroll, kill. As the jet black words on the scroll appeared, an ancient aura emerged, that is, Yi Yu, who was standing on the nine-tailed spirit phoenix in midair, frowned. This should be a paragon dharma treasure and a corner of the godly execution role. I never thought it was actually obtained by Xuanling sect the young Xiao sect internal affairs elder, Li Chenfeng muttered. Paragon Dharma treasures were the oldest and finest Dharma treasures on this mainland, and the godly execution roll was a calligraphy scroll that contained the mighty power of a god, which was thought to have disappeared a long time ago. The word kill on the godly execution roll was coincidentally obtained by Xuanling sect's grand elder in a certain cave when he was training in his younger days. Swiftly, a horrifying killing intent erupted from the word. In an instant, Blood spouted out from the mouths and noses of more than ten young Xiao sect disciples as well as that elder with a severed arm. All of them collapsed on the ground at the same time and were enshrouded by the killing intent. They died instantly without any struggle at all. Strike. Li Chenfing bent down and patted the back of the divine beast gently. Roar. The demonic beast whose body covered the sky finally moved. Its tail swept across and crashed down like a mountain peak. Many inner sect disciples looked up in the sky only to discover that that demonic beast which had the combat power of a yin yang true lord had already attacked. A monstrous might descended from the sky like a destructive force and crashed down with a loud rumble. Seeing that there was nowhere to hide, those Xuanling sect inner sect disciples had a smile on their lips without any fear on their faces. They slowly shut their eyes as their blood-stained lips parted slightly to let out the last chant of their lives. We use our blood to soak Xuanling's flag. We use our heart to light Xuanling's anger. We use our hands to hit Xuanling's drums. Farewell, Chapter 532 Xuanling Patriarch one. Boom. A sound resembling a natural disaster rang. With the sweep of the demonic beast's tail, numerous Xuanling inner sect disciples were crushed into pieces instantly. What remained was only the echoes of their once spirited cries before they died. They swore to exist and perish together with Xuanling sect. As that demonic beast finally struck, the Grand Elder appeared. At that instant, there was a huge gold coffin behind the Grand Elder. His steps were heavy and expression dark as he walked into Xuanling sect. Xuanling sect master and the internal affairs elders followed beside the Grand Elder. In no time, Elder Mo descended from midair as well. Boom. The gold coffin was placed down by the Grand Elder, and there was a tremor in the ground. Everyone stared at the huge gold coffin in confusion, with their Xuanling sect people, especially, wearing strange expressions. Swiftly, with the Xuanling sect people looking on in astonishment, 
the Grand Elder and Sect Master along with the several internal affairs elders knelt before the huge golden coffin. We are unfilial, we are unable to protect Xuanling Sect well. At this moment, Xuanling Sect is at the border between life and death. Please, Patriarch. Boom. As the Grand Elder spoke, the enormous gold coffin exploded instantly. Once the dust dispersed, a skinny elderly with white hair and a ruddy complexion was standing in the gold coffin silently. Patriarch, seeing the elderly who walked out from the gold coffin, Xuanling sect master and the rest clenched their fists immediately. The powerful figures of the sect recounted in a tearful voice. It is our fault for alarming you, Patriarch. Young Xiao sect is bullying our Xuanling sect. Please give us justice. Patriarch Elder Mo knelt on the floor, not staring to look up. However, that elderly who was donned in a long blue robe did not say anything as he looked ahead at Young Xiao Sect's divine beast without any expression. That person is on the nine-tailed spirit phoenix. Yi Yu was slightly stunned to see the elderly walking out from the gold coffin. A look of astonishment flashed across her eyes. Xuanling Sect's founder. Xuanling Patriarch There was finally a cautious expression in Li Chenfing's eyes. Xuanling Patriarch was born 2000 years ago and was once one of the extremely powerful figures on this mainland. He was absorbed in martial arts and was unable to extricate himself from it. When he was a hundred years old. He founded Xuanling sect himself and was the most powerful person in Xuanling sect history. He was known as the Xuanling Patriarch. The Xuanling Patriarch should already be dead. Yi Yu's brows were slightly furrowed. She was filled with confusion as she looked at the elderly who walked out slowly. Indeed Li Chenfing frowned carefully sizing up that almost unrivaled elderly. His eyes flickered suddenly as he spoke. So that's the case. There is still a trace of vitality in his body. Before the Xuanling Patriarch died, he used a unique method to seal his final breath so as to leave a last chip for Xuanling sect to protect the sect. This time, Xuanling sect encountered a calamity, and they ultimately invited the Xuanling Patriarch. In that case, the Xuanling Patriarch will not be able to sustain this appearance for long. Yi Yu's eyes flickered as she sharply caught the main point in Li Chenfing's words. Since it was the final breath he sealed before death, it would not be able to sustain for too much time. Exactly. Li Chenfing nodded. Yet, even though the Xuanling Patriarch would completely die after a while, his skills were unquestionable. Raw. Young Xiao Sect's divine beast roared furiously and its giant tail swept at the Xuanling Patriarch, Chapter 533 Xuanling Patriarch, 2. There were no emotions on the Xuanling Patriarch's face, and there was no change in the look of his eyes. Once the giant nine-tailed spirit phoenix's tail swept over, he vanished instantly. In the next second, however, he suddenly appeared on the back of the divine beast and came face to face with Li Chenfeng. In Xuanling sect, the Grand Elder felt repression in his heart as he looked at the back view of the Xuanling Patriarch. The Patriarch knows that he is unable to sustain for long and wants to defeat the enemy by capturing their chief. Thus, he is helping us to settle Li Chenfeng. With the Patriarch's last breath, he can only execute one move. Elder Kin said with a tight frown. Amongst all the people who came from Yang Xiao sect, only Li Chenfeng can control the divine beast. If Li Chenfeng is killed by the Patriarch, we can stop Yang Xiao sect Xuanling sect sect master side. This was Xuanling sect's final card, and they could only put their all into the fight no matter what. On the back of the divine beast, Xuanling Patriarch is indeed powerful. Li Chenfing said with a laugh as he looked at the utterly silent elderly. The Xuanling Patriarch was not mute, but he could not say anything at that moment, even if it was a single word. He had already burned out a thousand years ago and only had one last breath in his mouth. If he opened his mouth and this breath escaped, he would be completely dead. He would definitely not speak before he helped Xuanling sect to resolve the great danger. Immediately, the Xuanling Patriarch's hand moved towards Li Chenfeng. This move was extremely slow. However, Li Chenfeng's expression changed drastically, and a look of shock emerged in his eyes. The Xuanling Patriarch's hand accumulated a force that was converted by his final breath that had been sealed for a long time. Although it was extremely slow, it contained the great force of the world, and it was as though the sky would crack from his attack. At that instant, time seemed to stop. 
It was a dead silence. The world seemed to turn around from the Xuanling Patriarch's strike, and it was as if it could no longer operate properly. The attack was extremely profound and could no longer be described with words. Li Chenfeng was simply unable to move, and he could only watch the Xuanling Patriarch's hand approach him slowly. Boom! There was a loud rumble as though heaven and earth clashed. The palm finally landed on Li Chenfeng. As the palm landed, the great force finally faded gradually. There was a smile on Li Chenfeng's lips as he instantly turned into a talisman that was burned into nothingness. Xuanling Patriarch is indeed powerful. Li Chenfeng's voice sounded from behind. It was then that the Xuanling sect masses saw that Li Chenfeng appeared in front of Yi Yu, and he stood on top of Yi Yu's nine tailed spirit phoenix. Arrogant armor treasure. Substitute spell? The Xuanling sect sect master was appalled and could not believe it. Similar to the godly execution role, the substitute spell was also a Paragon Dharma treasure that could block a fatal blow. Unexpectedly, Li Chenfeng actually brought a substitute spell with him to Xuanling sect to play safe in case Xuanling sect had a strong treasure. How hateful. Elder Kin and other internal affairs elder were extremely indignant. Who could have expected that Li Chenfeng would actually have the substitute spell Paragon Dharma treasure. Xuanling sect's inheritance is indeed beyond expectations a smile appeared on Yi Yu's exquisite face. Towering above everyone with an elegant stance. Sarcasm filled her eyes as she continued on. Too bad, no matter what, it cannot be, compared to my young Xiao sect. Even though Xuanling sect sought for all kinds of solutions, the opponent they faced was a super sect like young Xiao sect. Chapter 534 Xuanling Patriarch, 3. What a pity. Despite inviting the Xuanling Patriarch out, you all still could not kill me. Li Chenfeng snickered at the Xuanling sect masses. At that instant, a lonely figure on the back of the divine beast slowly turned into dust. He sealed his final breath and stored himself in a gold coffin all to benefit the descendants of Xuanling sect. He had long predicted that Xuanling sect would face a calamity in the future. He initially thought that there would perhaps be a day when the descendants of Xuanling sect would wake him up and he would not hesitate to use his final breath to protect Xuanling sect. In the coffin today, he heard someone calling him. He heard the Xuanling descendants that he had never forgotten about inviting him out of the coffin. However, the elderly looked down at Xuanling sect with reluctance. Everyone there was a trace of regret on his face. Sorry boom. The elderly completely disappeared into nothingness before everyone's eyes. As the Xuanling patriarch's last breath faded, his reluctant eyes in his final moment touched everyone's hearts deeply. The Xuanling sect disciples fell into silence. The Xuanling sect master, Grand Elder, and the rest had a pained expression and felt ashamed for not being able to do anything. Xuanling sect, what other heritage do you have? You might as well use them. Li Chenfing returned to the back of the divine beast and looked down at the Xuanling sect masses. Xuanling sect had already used all their cards then, and even the Xuanling patriarch was unable to kill Li Chenfing. Since that's the case, annihilate them. As Li Chenfing finished his sentence, the divine beast charged towards Xuanling sect instantly. In the next second, the Grand Elder and Xuanling sect master along with the internal sect elders had already viewed death with equanimity as they welcomed the divine beast. However, two internal affairs elders were already slaughtered by the divine beast just by coming face to face with it while Elder Mo and the Xuanling sect master were flung away and spat large amounts of blood, unable to overcome the enemy. At this point, it was as though the young Xiao sect disciples and wardens entered an uninhabited place. As the divine beast put on display its almost unrivaled power, Xuanling sect was filled with dead corpses just like the abyss of Azura Hell. Junior Brother Zhu, help us to sound the Xuanling war drum. Mo Cheng Kong told a disciple softly, previously, the disciples who beat the drum had already died. Okay. With a determined expression, that disciple picked up the war hammer, walked forward with great strides, and beat the Xuanling war drum powerfully, boom, boom, boom. As the Xuanling war drum rang, Feng Mali, Mo Cheng Kong, and the rest went against the current and charged towards the young Xiao sect disciples. Before long, Qin Huan spouted a mouthful of blood and was flung away. Die. A young Xiao sect disciple charged towards Qin Huan with a long sword in hand. Ha. 
What do I fear? The corners of Gin Huan's lips tugged up slightly as he closed his eyes. Suddenly, a demon subduing pagoda appeared in midair. In just the blink of an eye, that young Xiao sect disciple was killed from the impact of the demon subduing pagoda which appeared from nowhere. This, Gin Huan stared at the large pagoda before him in confusion. In midair, a man in white with a righteous expression looked at Yang Xiao sect coldly. Ji Yixuan from Falling Sky Valley? A few Yang Xiao sect top disciples were surprised to see that young male. How dare a Falling Sky Valley disciple come over to the formidable Heavens dynasty to mind their Yang Xiao sect's business? Previously, Xu Anling sect's grand elder had saved his life once. Upon learning that Xu Anling sect was met with trouble, he rushed over at top speed. Senior brother Ji Mo Cheng Kong flew up to stand beside Ji Yixuan. Chapter 535 Arriving with Troops 1. Junior brother Mo Ji Yixuan was a little stunned to see Mo Cheng Kong. After leaving Xu Anling sect, Mo Cheng Kong had been cultivating in Falling Sky Valley and was martial brothers with Ji Yixuan. Oh right. I remember that you were a Xu Anling sect disciple before you entered Falling Sky Valley. Ji Yixuan said after thinking a bit, Why are you here? Senior brother Jim Ochen Kong was puzzled. To repay a favor. Ji Yixuan replied, Xu Anling sect's grand elder had once saved Ji Yixuan very long ago, and Ji Yixuan was almost killed by Yang Xiao sect a while back. As a result, he had been suppressing this anger for a long time. Ji Yixuan, you intruded into the formidable Heavens dynasty and killed my Yang Xiao sect disciple. You have a death wish. A Yang Xiao sect top disciple shouted sternly at Ji Yixuan. Ji Yixuan scoffed immediately. Formidable Heavens dynasty did not even forbid me from entering. What do you think you are, Yang Xiao sect? Your sect sent someone to tail after and assassinate me a while back. And I have not forgotten about this. Now that we meet today, I'll just kill to my heart's content. Ji Yixuan had already returned to Falling Sky Valley and handed the Regeneration Stone to his master. Now, he no longer had any worries, and so be it if he died there. You're here to throw your life away, aren't you? A young Xiao sect warden sneered. I dare not say I'm here to throw my life away. It is not a loss when I kill one person but I profit by one person when I kill two people. I would naturally engage in this profitable transaction. Ji Yixuan did not have any fear at all. Then, Ji Yixuan did not bother with the nonsense and brandished the demon subduing pagoda, charging towards the young Xiao sect disciples. Presently, Xu Anling sect was already a spent force with countless casualties of high-ranking executives and wardens. The number of inner sect disciples who could fight was already less than a hundred. Flame God, Feng Mali shouted, and his body turned into a raging fireball as he rammed against a young Xiao sect disciple. Swoosh, Xu Anling sect's top disciple, Han Kinian and Suk Sin brandished the yin-yang weapons and inflicted heavy damage to a young Xiao sect warden. Yin-yang weapons. On the nine-tailed spirit phoenix, Yi Yu's eyes were ice cold. Yi Yu rose immediately and flew towards Han Kinian and Suk Sin. Fifteen minutes later, after killing several young Xiao sect disciples, Ji Yixuan, Mo Cheng Kong, and the rest were already heavily injured. Do you all still want to continue resisting? Yi Yu overlooked the Xuanling sect masses arrogantly. Her left hand gripped onto the yin yang weapons while her right lifted two heads with eyes wide open. Senior brother Han, senior sister Suk Sin. At that instant, the Xuanling sect disciples were utterly shaken after seeing Han Kinian's and Suk Sin's heads. Yu An Hu, Kin Huan, and even Feng Mali clenched their fists tightly as a fog emerged in their eyes. A man did not shed tears easily, unless deeply hurt. Lin Long was lifeless as she gazed at Xu Anling sect, which now resembled Azura Hell. The Xu Anling war drum was already broken. The Xu Anling war flag was already torn. The Xu Anling disciples were mostly dead from the battle. But to Lin Long, it seemed that the Xu Anling war drums never stopped ringing. The war flag was still held high while the disciples were still gathered together that night as they talked about life over wine occasionally waving swords and learning martial skills from each other. There seemed to be heroic voices by her ears which seemed to be the loud cries of those unyielding Xuanling spirits that have lost their lives in the battle. We use our blood to soak Xuanling's flag.
We use our heart to light Xuanling's anger. We use our hands to hit Xuanling's drums. No one in Xuanling sect could block Yang Xiao sect's divine beast. In less than half a day, Xuanling sect was filled with dead bodies. The Grand Elder, Sect Master, and other high ranking executives were severely injured and had lost their combat capability, and more than half of the thousands of disciples were dead or injured. At this point, it seemed that the curtains were about to be brought down on this battle. However, at this moment, a screeching sound and roars of demonic beasts came from far away. Devilish red shadows seemed to cover the entire sky as blood-colored robes could be seen in the sky. Eight scarlet demonic beasts pulled a huge blood-colored carriage and appeared slowly. There was a frighteningly fierce air in the surroundings. Hundreds of sect members in red robes surrounded the blood carriage without any emotions. Dozens of blood-colored war horses hovered in the sky with an imposing bravado. Boom, boom, boom. The war drums sounded once again. At this moment, the young Xiao sect masses were stunned as they looked in the sky. Even Li Chen Fing could not help but be taken aback. Blood Moon Sect, Chapter 536 Arriving with Troops, 2. Right above Xuanling Sect, war drums sounded continuously with the galloping of millions of horses that resounded beneath the sky. As the blood colored shadows enshrouded the sky, it seemed like the air of death was swept in together. The colossus that was annihilated a thousand years ago appeared in the world once again. The sound of the blood moon godly drum that was almost forgotten persisted once again. Eight demonic beasts let out a terrifying roar as though the rage that had been accumulated for a thousand years was about flood out. This scene finally caused one to recall the times that were almost forgotten. They were the ones who were once the kings of this world. The Xuanling sect masses were extremely shaken as they looked at the sect members in blood robes above the sky. There was an embroidery of a blood crescent which was Blood Moon sect's symbol on the blood robe. Blood Moon sect? The young Xiao sect disciples were stupefied and could not believe the sight. The words Blood Moon sect were a taboo on this mainland. A thousand years ago, it was like a scarlet storm that engulfed this mainland as it toyed with the entire place in its hand. It actually is the Blood Moon sect. On the nine-tailed spirit phoenix, Yi Yu frowned slightly as she looked at Li Chenfeng. However, Li Chenfeng's brows were tightly furrowed like never before at that moment. The Blood Moon would reappear in a thousand years. Whoever wields power shall not idle. As it is our great undertaking for immortality to wreak havoc over a jovial talk, Li Chenfing mumbled. Back when the Blood Moon sect was annihilated by the combined forces of the sects on this mainland, the Blood Moon Holy Lord left these words behind and disappeared from the world. Suddenly, Li Chenfing stared in disbelief at the blood colored carriage that the eight demonic beasts were pulling. Could it be that a certain important figure of Blood Moon sect resurrected? A thousand years ago, the Blood Moon Holy Lord stood in the sky and declared to the world that there would ultimately be a day when the Blood Moon would appear once again and wreak havoc with the resounding Blood Moon sect war drums. Perhaps it reflected what the Blood Moon Holy Lord once said. Blood Moon sect would eventually appear once again and paint the ninth heaven with blood. Tsitsi. Blood demon laughed so sinisterly that one's hair stood on ends as he scanned the surroundings. Young Xiao sect seems to only know how to bully these small sects. What did you say? A young Xiao sect disciple shouted immediately. Upon hearing that, a blood colored glint flickered in Blood Demon's eyes and he landed on that young Xiao sect disciple in a second. Before that young Xiao sect disciple even knew what had happened, he turned into a pool of blood water and was absorbed by blood demon. This sight caused the young Xiao sect disciples present to gasp. Blood Moon Sect One of the 108 branch masters Blood Demon Branch Master Blood Moon Branch Masters were Blood Moon Sect's core military strength, and every branch master's skills were unquestionable. Little kid. Blood Demon laughed coldly and subsequently returned to far away. You all, upon noticing the situation, a few young Xiao sect elders immediately drew out their weapons. However, they were stopped by Li Chenfeng. Blood Moon sect shocked many in the world. It is a great honor to meet you all today, Li Chenfeng said with a smile. During Blood Moon sect speak, they were a colossus, and even a super sect like young Xiao sect did not dare to offend them at all, if not for the fact that the Blood Moon sect was too powerful and arose fear in the super sects, which then combined forces to encircle them, 
it would probably still be extremely powerful today. Despite planting millions of spies and attacking them with the joint effort of hundreds of sects, the Blood Moon sect could still not be defeated. If not for the grudges between the Ultimate Elder and the Blood Moon Holy Lord, causing the Ultimate Elder to personally take action and attack the Blood Moon Holy Lord, the Blood Moon sect back then might not have been annihilated. Chapter 537 Arriving with Troops 3 Previously, something abnormal happened when sect disciples were out on missions, and it was only then did they sense that there was an indication of the resurrection of annihilated members of the Blood Moon sect. At that very moment, Li Chenfing was unclear as to what the exact state of Blood Moon sect's recovery was, but he did not wish to casually offend the Blood Moon sect force before him. You know how to talk pretty well. Sitting on a blood-colored horse, the Blood Moon Division head who wore a blood-colored armor sneered. Horror shone in Li Chenfing's eyes as he stared at the Blood Moon Division head. He had seen the portraits of the 108 branch masters and 36 division heads from Elder Kui before, and the elderly on the blood-colored horse was one of the 36 division heads. Could it be that your excellency is one of the Blood Moon sect's 36 division heads, Jiang Chen division head? Li Chenfing asked cautiously, Since you know me, hurry up and pay your respects then. A branch master looked down at Li Chenfing. Ha Li Chenfing's lips curled up as his eyes landed on the blood-colored carriage seemingly. There is no hurry for that. I am just curious if the person in the carriage could be a Blood Moon Elder. Elder? The Blood Moon sect members exchanged a look and erupted into laughter. That's right, there indeed is an elder. At that moment, the Blood Moon Elder was accompanying beside the Blood Moon Guardian, and Li Chenfing did not say anything wrong. Witnessing the reactions of the Blood Moon sect members, uneasiness suddenly crept in Li Chenfing's heart for some reason. Is there anything the Blood Moon sect wishes to see us about? Yi Yu suddenly spoke. A trace of caution could be seen on her delicate features. The internal affairs elder of your sect does not even have the qualification to speak to us. Who do you think you are? A Blood Moon sect member shouted coldly. When the Blood Moon sect was at its peak, when had they even cared about a super sect like Yang Xiao sect before? That sentence was relatively impolite, and coldness set in Yi Yu's eyes after hearing it. Ever since she entered Yang Xiao sect, she was the sect master's official disciple and was currently Yang Xiao sect's holy lady. She had some status even in Yang Xiao sect, and she had never thought she would actually be berated by a Blood Moon sect member in public. Why do I see traces of viciousness in this young girl of Yang Xiao sect? Could it be that you wish to attack us? That Blood Moon sect member had a teasing expression. Ha 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 ha. Hundreds of Blood Moon sect members roared with laughter immediately. Yi Yu frowned slightly and looked towards Li Chenfeng, who, however, gave Yi Yu a look which signified to not act rashly. Let me ask you all, why do you want to annihilate this small sect? Sha O Tanzang, who had a sword hung on his waist simply could not be bothered with Yi Yu as he spoke indifferently. Ha ha Li Chenfing chuckled and looked at Sha O oh, Tanzang so it is Blood Moon Fiend Sword, Ni Tanzang Branch Master. Truth be told, there is some enmity between this sect and ours, and we started a war today. Sha O oh, Tanzang hid an indifferent expression. I'm protecting this small sect. After hearing these words, the high-ranking Xuanling executives, as well as Xuanling sect disciples, were in disbelief, not mentioning the people from Yang Xiao sect, even the Xuanling sect masses were utterly stupefied by Sha O Tanzang's words. The reason for Blood Moon sect's sudden appearance was still unknown. Who would have thought that the Blood Moon sect would actually say that they wanted to protect Xuanling sect? You're protecting it? A warden from Yang Xiao sect looked at Sha O Tanzang and sneered. On what basis? Chapter 538 Displaying One's Remarkable Prowess 1. Clank As a crisp unsheathing sound rang in the air, that disrespectful young Xiao sect warden was split into two by the blood-colored sword light in the next second. Clank At the same time, 
the sword was kept back into its sheath, on the basis of my sword. Sha O oh, Dan Zhang was emotionless. Hiss. As the young Xiao sect elite saw crimson blood spurting out of the warden who was sliced by the sword aura, they gasped in horror, no one saw Sha O oh, Tan Zhang's attack. That man in a white top seemed to have stood in midair without moving throughout the entire time. The sword was unsheathed and sheathed in just a breath's time and it was so quick that one could not distinguish his movements with their naked eye. In just a moment, the young Xiao sect warden was killed there and then, Sha O oh, Danzang. A young Xiao sect elder was rather nervous. Rumor had it that amongst the 108 branch masters, Sha O oh, Danzang was nicknamed the Blood Moon Fiend Sword. His sword play techniques were superb and had been extraordinary since a thousand years ago. He was known as Blood Moon Sect's top sword play master. Although he was a branch master, his skills were, however, unfathomable. That nine tailed spirit phoenix is pretty good. Suddenly, an ethereal voice sounded from the blood colored carriage that the eight demonic beasts were pulling. Blood Demon immediately cupped his fists and bowed respectfully. I understand. Afterward, Blood Demon snickered devilishly and flew towards Yi Yu. Yi Yu was slightly taken aback to see a red shadow flying towards her. A cold glint flickered in her eyes as she said coldly, You have a death wish. Yi Yu, who was standing on the nine tailed spirit phoenix, smashed a hand towards Blood Demon. A playful expression appeared on Blood Demon's face immediately. There was something special about this young Xiao sect girl. She was so young but had already entered the third heaven of Martial Chi level 3. Blood Demon rapidly disjointed his body and turned into blood water. Blood Demon mystical technique. Yi Yu kept her hand back. A blue light filled with a horrifying force of destruction floated into appearance around her. Tsitsi Blood Demon laughed evilly. Even if she he had a blue spirit root, he had no fear. Before Yi Yu attacked, the nine tailed spirit phoenix beneath her was already covered in blood demon's blood colored force. The nine tailed spirit phoenix cried in fury and moved around, wanting to escape the bind. However, the blood colored force was like a sturdy cage that could not be escaped from. Blood demon pulled the nine tailed spirit phoenix and flew forward. Yi Yu frowned. She could not do anything to blood demon right now. If she was led into the group of people by him, the consequences would be dire, so she could only give up on her nine tailed spirit phoenix temporarily. At the thought of how she had never suffered such a humiliation ever since she entered Yang Xiao sect, she glared at the blood colored carriage coldly, pulling the nine tailed spirit phoenix. Blood Demon walked to the blood carriage in great strides before kneeling on a knee. I've brought the nine tailed spirit phoenix. Good. The ethereal voice sounded from the carriage once again. As that voice sounded, an ash pale girl with a crystal clear body and delicate features slowly walked out from the blood carriage with an aloof expression. She reached out for the nine tailed spirit phoenix. Her seemingly weak hand was gently placed on the back of the nine tailed spirit phoenix. Hoot. The nine-tailed spirit phoenix shouted angrily, as though it did not allow anyone apart from Yi Yu to touch it. However, as the girl's hand touched the nine-tailed spirit phoenix, it turned blood red before everyone's eyes and no longer struggled in just a few breaths time. Blood Demon. The girl spoke softly. Then, Blood Demon let out an evil laugh and kept the blood-colored force that twined around the nine-tailed spirit phoenix's body. Chapter 539 Displaying One's Remarkable Prowess 2. The nine-tailed spirit phoenix which turned red flapped its wings instantly and hovered in the sky, becoming a member of the Blood Moon sect. My nine-tailed spirit phoenix Yi Yu was shocked to witness her own nine-tailed spirit phoenix listening to that girl. Her master, the young Xiao sect sect master, personally sought this nine-tailed spirit phoenix for her, and it was extraordinarily precious. Yet. It was actually snatched by the Blood Moon sect members today. That girl is one of the 108 branch masters. Fiendish demon Li Chenfeng had a serious expression when he recognized the other party's identity immediately after seeing that she controlled the nine tailed spirit phoenix. It was said that fiendish demon was transformed from a demonic beast, and it could control spirit animals and demonic beasts and even assimilate them. Currently, the nine-tailed spirit phoenix was already assimilated by the fiendish demon and no longer belonged to Yi Yu. Come back, 
Yi Yu said gently as she looked at the nine-tailed spirit phoenix that hovered above the Blood Moon sect members. However, the blood-colored nine-tailed spirit phoenix glanced at Yi Yu without any warmth like before. Its eyes were cold and indifferent and even had a trace of disdain. Blood Moon sect, what exactly do you all want? A young Xiao sect elder shouted at that instant. There are two goals for coming here today, Sha O Tanzang said. Firstly, to kill our sect betrayer. Zongyun, and secondly, to annihilate young Xiao sect. Soul severing troll added on. What? That young Xiao sect elder clenched his teeth. Don't push your luck, Blood Moon sect. There were hundreds of sects who annihilated your sect back then. Why must you all come at young Xiao sect the moment you all appear and not other sects? What you said is right. Sha O Danzang looked at that young Xiao sect elder apathetically. At that instant, the Xuanling sect masses were shaken as they looked at the Blood Moon sect forces in midair. This was the colossus that took over the world a thousand years ago. As powerful as Yang Xiao sect was, it, however, no longer had any attitude before the Blood Moon sect. In the blood carriage, the Blood Moon elder looked out and shook his head. Xuanling sect really sustained heavy damages if we came any later. I'm afraid it would already have been annihilated by Yang Xiao sect. A cold glint flashed across Yi Qingtong's eyes at that moment. She had already rushed over at the fastest speed. Yi Qingtong stood up and looked downward. It was haphazard in Xuanling sect. The disciples' corpses seemed to pile into a small mountain while the boundless blood reflected in her eyes like a flame that burned ragingly. Then, Yi Qingtong narrowed her eyes as she looked at Yi Yu not far away. That Yi Yu who personally snatched her spirit root away. Yi Qingtong's eyes flickered, but she did not give any orders to the Blood Moon sect members. She took a deep breath quietly and suppressed all her emotions, allowing her eyes to slowly return to a calm expression. She came today not to settle scores with Yi Yu but to rescue Xu Anling sect, and thus, she should prioritize the overall situation. With the Blood Moon sect division in action, the other super sects in Formidable Heavens dynasty would hear of it and rush over shortly after. She must save her sect from the misery in the shortest time possible. As a for Yi Yu, they still had a long time ahead of them in the future, and she would slowly settle this score with Yi Yu. At that instant, Li Chenfing glimpsed across the blood carriage that the eight demonic beasts were pulling and asked, I wonder who is in the carriage? You're not qualified to know. The Blood Moon Division head sneered coldly. However, as the Blood Moon Division head finished his sentence, the carriage door was suddenly opened. Chapter 540 Displaying One's Remarkable Prowess 3. A flaming red figure stepped out of the blood-colored carriage slowly. In just an instant, it attracted the attention of everyone present. With a red veil covering her face, Yi Qingtong gradually walked into everyone's line of sight. The eyes that were exposed out of the veil were like a treasury of stars, revealing specks of coldness as they glanced across the masses. The Blood Moon sect members immediately separated into two sides when they saw Yi Qingtong walking out of the blood carriage. Everyone including Sha O Danzang and Jiang Chen, a Blood Moon division head, successively bowed to the girl in a red veil with a reverent and respectful expression. Li Chenfing was surprised. Previously, he only guessed that the person in the carriage was at the level of a Blood Moon sect elder, but now, the girl's appearance could actually make the Blood Moon division head bow in respect. The division head and elder had an equal position in Blood Moon sect. If that girl was a Blood Moon sect elder, the Blood Moon division head absolutely did not need to give her a full bow. Below, the remaining Xuanling sect disciples were extremely curious as they looked at the girl. Although Blood Moon sect had a well-known reputation, very few saw their true faces, and the curiosity of the sect disciples was inevitable. From the reaction of the Blood Moon sect masses, they could tell that the girl's identity and position were definitely not that of an average disciple. Could that person be after the appearance of Blood Moon sect, Elder Kin, who had not spoken all this while? had a change in expression, and he looked at Elder Mo in front of him. Blood Moon sect's appearance pinned down Yang Xiao sect, allowing the Xuanling sect masses to heal their injuries. The condition of those heavily injured disciples was mostly stabilized, and the Xuanling sect master and Grand Elder had recovered quite a fair bit as well. Elder Mo was rather perplexed as he looked at the girl in a red face veil. For some reason, 
he felt that the pair of eyes and brows outside the veil were seemingly familiar. Could it be one of the three great blood moon sect guardians? The Xuanling sect master asked, flabbergasted. But it is said that the three guardians of blood moon sect were extremely mysterious and never appeared before anyone. Eldama was unconvinced that a blood moon guardian would appear. After all, those three guardians never appeared even when blood moon sect was annihilated back then. How then would they appear here today? Was it truly to protect the Xuanling sect? Just the thought of it was preposterous. However, as Eldamo was guessing that, we pay respects to the Guardian. In midair, the Blood Moon sect masses greeted uniformly in a loud and imposing manner. Eldamo and everyone else in Xuanling sect were utterly dumbstruck. Everyone in Yangxiao sect was even more astonished. The three Blood Moon Guardians had never appeared before anyone since the founding of the sect, including when the sect was annihilated back then. Yet, unexpectedly they actually saw an alive Blood Moon Guardian today. You are a Blood Moon Guardian? Li Chenfing's body stiffened as he stared at the mysterious girl. A Blood Moon Guardian was ranked just below the Blood Moon Sect Sect Master and Holy Lord in Blood Moon Sect. Their skills and rank were not one that a Blood Moon Division head and elder could be compared to. Puzzlement emerged in Yi Yu's cold eyes as she stared at the Blood Moon Guardian who was donned in a red robe that swayed elegantly in the wind. Although the Blood Moon Guardian's face was covered by a red face veil, the person's eyes were faintly familiar to her, and she seemed to have seen them somewhere before. 